Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number two. Rewatch. Okay, um like previous episode uh I checked it out and there were a few things where not a few things but most of the things that I did not remember. Few things I kind of remembered because it's been like six years I've watched this before. And there were a few jokes which I think I was able to get a lot better than I ever did before because I was quite new to Fate franchise when I started watching Fate uh, Carnival Phantasm. So hopefully all these episodes, I'm sure I'll be able to get a lot more jokes than I ever did before. And <laughs> you know, the comedy factor will be a bit more because like Fate's comedy is weird and random. And this is what I love about Fate's comedy. Like it's, it's, it's bizarre. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to what this episode brings. And uh, honestly speaking, I still kind of remembered few things episode one had, but this episode, I don't remember anything. Like I have no clue what I'm getting into. Probably when I start watching it, I'll get re like when I rec start recalling stuff from my past. Uh, but yeah, like for now, I'm completely blind. <laughs> So yeah, let's get started with this episode. This is episode number two of Fate Carnival Phantasm. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Master. Could you shoot me a beam? Whoa, okay. Well... <laughs> wow. Okay. <sighs> okay, so... Um, the last episode, Shiro won the Holy Grail War. But he was blasted off into space. So let's see what happens after that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like these slice of life section, like, you know, spin offs of fate. I really enjoy them because you know like it's like a break from the whole battle royale killing each other like yeah like it's nice to see them actually engaging in real life mundane stuff uh, with their own eccentricities that they have so yeah Hmm. All right, it's starting. Okay, let's start. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, Phantasm Moon. <laughs> Maho Shoujo Arshid. What the? Neolentis? That's it? Okay, <laughs> next episode. <laughs> Demon Akiha. Wow, Shiki. <laughs> episode 26. Wasn't episode 13 previous episode? <laughs> I wonder how many episodes Marvel Phantasm has. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh! Whoa, what the? <laughs> that was random. Melty Blood. Um. Oh. What the? Wait, where? 
What? How the hell did Shiro end up here? Oh yeah, this girl. She's in Melty Blood, isn't she? I don't remember her name, but... Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, who's that little girl? Uh, the one with black hair? I forgot. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> well, that's Tsukihime. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, she's... What? <laughs> what? No, no, okay. Oh my god, here we... One year supply of fuck. What the? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what if he wins? If he becomes MVP? Wow, Shiki's personality is... Oh my god. <laughs> They're all outside the room. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Her hair became red, okay. <clears throat> wow. I think her name was Ren. There's another character from Sukim who, who I, I probably forgot. Who is this girl? What? No! <laughs> Cheer type. Okay, um, I completely forgot. I completely forgot about that girl. Who is she? Like, again, Sukime, it's been a long while. <laughs> oh well oh my god oh shiki is not participating i was thinking what will happen if shiki, shiki becomes the mvp poor c <laughs> you could tell Wow. <laughs> Miyako. Whoa. Okay, I'm sure there's a lot of jokes that I'm not getting because I forgot everything about Tsukihime. Okay, great. <clears throat> Again, I remember her as well, but I don't remember her at the same time. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> well, you lost.
<laughs> Wait, what is hap okay? What type of ball is that? How is that? <laughs> what type of a ball is that? What is this made of? <laughs> the ultimate technique. I'm not non-human. Okay, so what happened by the end? Who won? Nobody. 526, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, what happened to Shiro? Sharing tables. Well, obviously. Oh, 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 the both the protagonists. <laughs> they cut him off. This probably cut him off. Wow. Well, it kind of got a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all within my calculations. Kekaku Dori. Um, <laughs> Kekako Dori. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she is. Oh, my God. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is a Tsukihime Centers episode. And as I said, I probably won't be able to get a lot of Tsukihime references because I don't remember them. It's been quite a long while I played Tsukihime and yeah. Like for example, this girl, uh, I don't even remember if this is a girl or a boy. The one with yellow hair who called uh, Seal her mas master. I don't remember her or him. I don't remember this girl, Ren. I don't remember the white haired girl who came at the after. This girl as well with the panda. I don't. I forgot each and every character except the main ones. So, yeah, but like this is the thing. Like, since I was involved with fate all this time, I. I'm very much well versed with fate because like yeah like uh, if asked I'll probably be able to uh, like you know recognize each and every fate character but for Tsukihime no that that obviously did not happen because Tsukihime is only in visual novel form and Tsukihime doesn't have a game so, <laughs> so like my involvement with Tsukihime kind of faded away like it was that five years ago there was once a day when I played Tsukihime. That was just it. Okay, let's let's check this potion out. Um <laughs> Cabbage wrap. 
Wait, did you get a budget cut or something? I think Fujimura got a yeah budget cut. Exactly. Oh my god. Well. Only suffered this. Wow, it, it got even more. Oh my god. She's. <laughs> okay, that's the end. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, since uh, my involvement with Tsukehime was that, like, you know, only the visual novel, and since Fate has so many things, you know, like, first the visual novel then like a lot of spin-offs like at hollow ataraxia then carnival phantasm then like you know all the other ones for example the anime and then like you know fate grand order like there's so many things related to fate that i was constantly kind of involved with fate all this while while sukihime it it kind of faded away and like and we're getting a remake of sukihime which i do plan on reading when it uh, gets translated but you know like that's the only thing really Tsukihime related that we kind of got and I forgot everything and I do remember myself enjoying Tsukihime a lot when I played it for the first time um, in like five or six years ago so that's all I remember like <laughs> other than that nothing I and I do remember the main characters like uh, Ashid, Seal, Akiha I think that was her name the sister yeah uh, Hisui and Kohaku, I think, yeah, the, the other maid. Like, these characters, I remember. Shiki, obviously. But nah, nothing else than that. So, yeah. And I don't even know, like, uh, we, I think we never got a, a Tsukihime collab in Fate Grand Order, did we? Like, I don't know why. Like, Fate Grand Order had so many collabs with, um, you know, so, so many, like, for example, Fate Zero had, like, a little thing. And then Requiem, I think it was called Requiem or what was it called? I don't remember. Uh, it's still not out in N8. It's uh, it's in JP. Um, and then uh, not Requiem. What was it called? Anyways, um, you know, like these, like all the spin-offs. Like Fate had like quite a few collabs. You can call them, I guess, with them. Oh, El Miller Case Files as well. So why not Tsukihime? Like. I don't know, like, I would really love if we, uh, you know, like, get an Ashid uh, servant. <laughs> or something like that. Maybe a welfare servant or something. Like, for, like just like how Karano Kyokai had, like, you know, like, a collab with uh, FGO. And we get, got uh, Shiki as a welfare servant. And then we also got a uh, five-star Shiki as well. But that's different. So, why not a uh, Sukihime character? Uh, you know as a welfare servant and then maybe they can release a five star or a four star version of that so like i don't know like i've always wondered like why they never did it with Tsukihime. but yeah hopefully in the future someday i guess like you know when <laughs> i don't know but yeah anyways okay this episode here this was completely Tsukihime related and uh, it was funny, but as I said, like, I think I probably missed a few jokes because I don't remember anything. And I even forgot the other girl, the, the, the little girl who looks like uh, Akiha. Like, at, at the beginning, I thought that was Akiha. I was like, why is Akiha small? Like, she's not a kid. And then I realized that, no, that's not Akiha. That's someone else. Like, who is that? Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was some character and I forgot and uh, yeah okay so here <laughs> we get a little beach episode with the Tsukime cast um all the different characters they are showing their inner desires of like you know like <laughs> of getting to be with shiki and shiki was <laughs> i don't know Shiki was all like very pleased with what was happening there and um, honestly speaking, I don't remember what type of personality Shiki had in Tsukihime, but I don't think it was something like this, you know, like... <laughs> I don't think it was, like, this was probably a bit exaggerated, Shiki's, uh, the way Shiki was behaving here. 
but yeah this is carnival phantasm so obviously it's going to be exaggerated <laughs> and we kind of get to know where shiro end up um getting transported to he end up getting ended up getting transported here and he's trying to fix the rocket but unfortunately the beach volleyball uh, was so damn what do you call it impactful that yeah it and i wonder what the ball was made of like <laughs> they're burning the ball like you know like slashing the ball and doing everything but nah it it it, it even like you know blasted a hole through the rocket so <laughs> yeah okay so what else um is here let's see Yeah, nothing much to talk about this episode I can see because it basically had one section with all the Tsukime cast and they were basically fighting against each other to get uh, to compete for Shiki's affection and whatnot while Shiki was <laughs> Shiki was just you know enjoying the, that and yeah that was just it and okay and then we oh and then the next section we kind of see Shiki and Shiro meeting like I'm quite interested so what type of <laughs> conversation will they even have like you know they're they're both main characters in their own in a respective um story like shiro in fate and shiki in sukihime so <laughs> I, I i really do wonder what are they going to talk and yeah but but they basically cut off shiro mid like you know mid conversation he was talking about something and they just cut him off so <laughs> i wonder how he'll go back home no how shiki uh, not shiki sorry how shiro will go back home <laughs> excuse me and uh, okay and oh we also had like uh, the marble phantasm or whatever that we had episode 26 and the last portion what was it called the um after school alleyway alliance again these are all uh, sukihime characters i think except the girl on the left who is i think the main character from melty blood and i have not played melty blood so i just am acquainted with her i know nothing about her um i, I feel just i feel like i kind of tried a little bit at the beginning melty blood i'm talking about and then i stopped so i, I kind of know who she is okay here it is her name is Xion. Xion Eltum Atlasia and she is the main character of Melty Blood and one thing that I very much remember that she is uh um where is it uh just a sec she is a Maya Dere now which is something that at least I did not know was a thing before I met this character basically <laughs> maya dere is uh, another character archetype a rare character archetype who is an extreme sundre hmm. uh, a maya dere is a dangerous sundre you can basically like they basically try to kill the other person you know like <laughs> that type of character and like when i start i remember when i started sukihime and when i was playing sukihime I was very new to anime i kind of basically knew the main character archetypes which are the sundre yandre um kudre and dandre these were all that i knew about i never knew there were branching character archetypes as well for example underneath sundre there are a lot of branching character archetypes for example um a branch of sundre is a uh, hime dere and uh, kami dere and there are a lot of other character archetypes as well um, under Sundere. One of which is, I think, Maya Dere. And I never knew that. And <laughs> when I started Melty Blade at the, at the beginning a little bit, um, yeah, she, she basically tried to kill Shiki, I think. That's what she did. So and that's when I knew. And yeah, this is, this is a, a completely different type of a character archetype. And damn like uh maidas are very rare like you know like basically a character a sundar who's trying to kill you like not like all sundars kind of try to kill you but not like genuine kill you but this girl genuinely tries to kill shiki so yeah like that was the first time that i realized that there are these type of character archetypes as well which are just like extreme versions of the main ones <laughs> so yeah 
Like that's my introduction of Shion. And as I said, I kind of played a little bit in the beginning and then I stopped Melty Blood. So I don't know anything about her. And yeah, that was just it. So who knows, maybe someday I'll try Melty Blood again, you know. Uh, but it'll probably be after I uh, Tsukihime remake comes out. After Tsukihime remake comes out, I'll probably read Tsukihime again, the visual novel, the remake version, and then probably I'll try Melty Blood. But, so that's it's going to take a long while because uh, the remake is going to come out little by little. So yeah, <clears throat> and the translation is also another thing. Like when we'll get a translation. So all these factors. But yeah, that was just it, and <laughs> and oh, and in the ending portion, we get a little Taiga Sensei as well. You know, Taiga Sensei kind of um, acted a bit too uh, hastily in previous episode, where she used so much of her budget animation that this episode they had to cut her off completely, <laughs> and you know, like she get a serious um, <clears throat> budget decrease. So yeah. Hopefully next episode she behaves herself, you know, and if she does, she'll definitely get her color back. But this is Taiga we're talking about, so I doubt she'll do that. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, overall, I love this whole, like, you know, like, again, like, this is weird fourth wall breaking comedy, which is something that I really enjoy, you know, like fourth wall breaking comedy is something which is just so great and that's why like you know i i really love gintama i really love any anime that kind of does this like breaks the fourth wall and kind of makes fun of it and makes fun of themselves as well which is something that i only found in gintama and probably like you know uh, you know uh, fate carnival phantasm like this fourth wall breaking comedy like there are a lot of uh, animes which kind of break the fourth wall as well i think um Oh, what was that called? I think D. Defrag? I think Defrag. There's another anime called Defrag, which I did not watch. I have not watched Defrag. But I think I've heard that it also probably breaks the fourth wall. There's another anime, which again, I also not have not watched, uh, which is Psyche Kuso, which I've heard also breaks the fourth wall quite a lot. So I really love this fourth wall breaking comedy, which probably the one who, like, you know, the only anime that probably does it the best is Gintama. And after that, following that, I think it's Fate Carnival Phantasm or Fate in itself, which breaks the fourth wall and just makes fun of itself, makes fun of its audience, makes fun of everybody. And it's basically so fun to kind of like, you know, watch that. So yeah, I love this type of comedy and it's just so great. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. Hopefully we get more Fate uh, related stuff because I'll be able to relate to that a lot more than Tsukihime. So hopefully next episode we get more things stuff related to fate so yeah so that's it guys so that was my reaction to fate uh, fate carnival phantasm episode number two so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i put out fate content like this every week one or two times fate grand order content as well and uh, yeah so definitely subscribe if you are interested in them i'll be linking down my fgo playlist below you can click on it you'll find all the other fgo stuff i've related i've reacted to or all the other content that i did on my channel <clears throat> also another thing i do plan on reacting to fate grand carnival second i think it's called the second season yeah i did not know that there was a, a subtitle version which has been already released and i can i think i kind of i was able to find it out where it is so hopefully next week i'll be able to react to fate grand carnival season 2 which i'll do definitely next week so yeah and comment down below anything you want to say and your opinions anything else you want to talk about i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of fate carnival phantasm so until then goodbye and have a nice day